RHS Pre-Calculus presents The Wheels on the Bus Go Round and Round. Our goal is to explain the concepts of angular velocity and linear velocity. Jimmy, the bus driver, is here to explain what linear and angular velocity, or speed, is. Okay, first let's define each of the terms that we are working with today. Number one, linear velocity. Linear velocity is the rate at which a point moves along a circular arc. To find linear velocity, you need to know s, the arc length, which is found by multiplying the angle in radian form with the radius and t, the time in which it travels. Therefore, linear speed is defined by arc length s over time t, or s over t. Now, angular velocity is the measure of the rate at which the central angle changes as the linear velocity changes. They are related. Theta is the angle measure in radians, t is time, and s is the arc, arc length. So, as you can see, angular velocity can be defined as the central angle theta over time t, or theta over t. Now, how do we apply these concepts we have just learned, you may ask? I have the perfect example, and you can even help me out in the process. I'm a city bus driver, and my bus has six wheels, all the same size. The wheel's radius is 12 inches. I know that when I am traveling in the neighborhoods, my wheels make three revolutions per second. I need to find the linear and angular velocity of the wheels on my bus. Think you can help? With what I have taught you today, I know you can. To figure out the angular speed, you need to know that each revolution is 2 pi. So the wheels turn at 2 pi times 3 revolutions per second, which is 6 pi radians per second. Now using that to plug into our angular velocity equation, we get 6 pi radians over 1 second, which equals 6 pi radians per second. Now linear velocity is given by the equation s over t. Arc length s can be found by r times theta, which is 12 inches times 6 pi radians. We can plug this in for s in the linear equation, so we have 12 times 6 pi over 1 second. Therefore, the linear velocity is approximately 226.195 inches per second. Thanks, you did it. You helped me find the linear and angular velocity of my bus, and now you understand the concepts as well. Great job.